are here at Stone Mountain Park. We are in the Piedmont region of Georgia. And the region of the Piedmont, as you can see behind me, really is characterized by these rolling hills and kind of shallow valleys. We have a lot of rivers and streams that are here and kind of dominate in our oak hickory forest that is known for the Piedmont. The soils are very rich. Um, and another thing that is very characteristic of the Piedmont region is the fact that there are these rock outcrop habitats that kind of persist throughout the entire five state reach that the Piedmont region has in the U.S. So there's only five states in the U.S. that you can find these rock outcrops like Stone Mountain and see the plants that grow there in the type of environment in that really harsh, hot environment and growing directly on the rock. So the climate here is typically pretty mild in the winters. We do get some occasions of snow, but it's typically not much more than an inch or two of accumulation. That's pretty rare, actually. We get a decent amount of rain, and a lot of that actually has to do with Atlanta being nearby. The kind of hot air that surrounds the city from a lot of the paved surfaces actually give us a higher amount of rainfall in the year than we would typically get in this region. In the lower parts of the Piedmont, closer to the fall line near Macon, they get a little bit less than closer to the mountains. We get a higher average in the northern part of the Piedmont region. The summers are usually pretty warm, not quite as hot as the coastal region, but definitely in the 90s, averaging right at 90 degrees in the summertime. And that hot summer actually really kind of feeds a lot of the plants that live here on the outcrop. Some of the typical wildlife that you would see here at Stone Mountain would be turkey vultures. They really are able to use the heat waves that come off of the mountain to help them fly and to just kind of coast and soar so they don't have to expend energy by flapping their wings as much. You definitely see deer, several types of snakes. In the Atlanta metro area though, you're not gonna see many of the venomous ones. You see lots of birds, tons of bird wildlife. We get a lot of migratory species here that fly over during their overwintering period. Some that come here to breed in the spring and lay their eggs and then head north for the winter. Lots of butterfly species as well. We have lots of diverse wildflower habitats that are really good for those nectaring pollinators and lots of amphibians and other reptiles as well, turtles and lizards. So we have a good bit of Georgia's population here in the Piedmont. We have the capital of the state. The majority of the population is in the Piedmont region here. There's a lot of industry and a lot of people that move to this part of Georgia because of the jobs available and the work that's here. Another a couple of major cities that you would find in the Piedmont region would be Athens, Augusta, Macon, Milledgeville, and Columbus. Those are right on the fall line, right at the southern border. And those were all major cities as far as trade goes and have been for years because of the rivers that come north from the ocean from both the Gulf and the Atlantic. And as they approach those cities, they get to the point where they can't go any further. But those are the southern, more important cities in our Piedmont region.